The Constitution was meant to be crafted. In the middle of this frustration, frustration felt in Brazil and in Greece, in America, as we face the choices of this election, to France, all across the world, this frustration with these elite constitutions boils over. And the only solution we have is to imagine a way for the people to reclaim their ownership of their democracy, to take back the Constitution and to own it, for it to be theirs. And what's so striking about the history of what's happened here in Iceland is that that's precisely what you have done. After the crisis of 2008, you began a process where the first question was not what do the elites think the next constitution should be, but what do people in Iceland think, represented fairly, randomly selected to identify the values, and then in an extraordinary election selecting citizens, ordinary citizens, not politicians, but citizens, to craft that document. And what you crafted as a constitutional scholar, I can say, is beautiful and elegant and concise, succinct, an expression of values. Just compare it to the elite constitution of the European Union, 10,000 pages that document was. The thing you produced is something to be proud of. And the question now is just simply whether the people having produced their constitution, will hand it over to the elite. So I look forward to a day when I can come back to Iceland and go down to that place that that statue stands and see on the other side another statue with citizens from Greece, a citizen from Brazil, a citizen from France, a citizen from Russia, a citizen from the United States, all standing together. And in front, a citizen from Iceland, holding the Constitution, handing it over to the king, <laughs> and saying, we tried yours. We tried yours. It gave us the crisis here in Iceland. It gave us an increasingly destructive democracy. Try ours. Thank you very much.